Well, now, it's not just our food that's being genetically engineered. Fox DC reports that the UK may actually approve creating babies with the DNA from three different people. Britain may allow a controversial technique to create babies using DNA from three people, a move that would help couples avoid passing on rare genetic diseases, said the country's top medical officer. The new techniques will help women with faulty mitochondria, the energy source in a cell, keep it from passing on to their baby's defects that can result in such diseases as muscular dystrophy, epilepsy, heart problems, and mental retardation. Now, as Alex pointed out today on the show, this is uh, the concern about this. Everyone wants to have as healthy a child as possible, of course. No one wants to have their children suffer from any of these defects. What we have to be concerned about, though, is that this may slide into a kind of eugenics, even a kind of mandatory eugenics, where the government has to approve your DNA, or maybe something like Brave New World or Gattaca, fiction works, that talk about how the government engineers the different types of people that they want to have in society, purposely creating different classes of intelligence. And I think we need to also understand that just because someone has a mental handicap, that doesn't make them any less of a person. And this was brought out in a great piece on CNN. It's very rare that CNN does anything that I really respect. And actually, in this case, it was not something that was written by CNN, but it was written by one of their contributors. It's a dad's confession. He says, I almost left my disabled daughter. And in this, he talks about how he was so excited about his newborn child and then so crushed when he found out that she had Down's syndrome. But listen to this quote from the article. He said, I also started forcing myself to interact with my daughter. She was desperate for me to start loving her, and she continued loving me until I broke down and did the same. I was scared to accept my daughter because that would mean accepting her disability. But the reality was that the only thing that kept me from loving my daughter was my own ignorance. Once I overcame my own selfish expectations for my daughter, I slowly began to see the beautiful girl that would change my life forever. Well, I think that's, we could say that's true of every parent and child relationship. Basically, looking at our children, getting rid of our selfish desires for them and seeing them for who they are and loving them for who they are. And that includes when something goes wrong because, you know, even if someone is not born with a health defect, anything can happen at any point in their life to make them handicapped or disabled. And it's a part of valuing human beings and a part of valuing life, not to be so obsessed. Uh, certainly, we want to do everything we can to make people healthy, but we have to be careful about sliding into some kind of a eugenics mindset. Now, right after the break, we've got an interview with a couple of filmmakers of State of Mind. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are we choosing our own paths, our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. We need to always be cognizant of, as a free society, that information can be used as a weapon. Barrier to discovery is not ignorance, it's the illusion of knowledge. We are seen as nothing but biological androids. To gain control of education in America, not for a philanthropic purpose, but to change the thinking of the American people. From the time we're very young, we're taught to, you know, worship authority basically because that's our key to survival as young children. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. And the CIA scientists could actually film people who had been surreptitiously dosed with LSD. There's a brain entrainment process that takes place. That gives the government free reign to create whatever story or narrative it wants to create. Whatever the public face of something is, whatever they're talking about publicly, there's something else over here they're probably not looking at. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would fully endorse, not only endorse, but demand a war. When you watch mainline establishment television, you are putting yourself in front of the barrel of a gun. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. 
Psychological warfare. Brainwashing. Are we controlled and manipulated? You bet. That's mind control par excellence. Find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes with this new groundbreaking documentary film, State of Mind. Available exclusively at InfoWars.com.